urban transport in most cities is in a state of crisis. Public transportation should be an essential component of efficient urban mobility. Instead, there is a growing reliance on private vehicles. The modal share of public transportation is declining, as is its quality of service. This is a serious threat to urban productive efficiency. Road transport alone cannot adequately handle demand above 2,000 peak hour peak direction trips. Urban planners have to consider demands far in excess of this. Any urban transportation solution has to alleviate the existing chaos in road traffic patterns. Present technologies like surface, elevated and underground rail systems cannot follow road alignments. Their implementation is also faced with tremendous engineering, safety and financial challenges. All this could change forever. The world is about to be introduced to the Sky Bus Metro. Technology with a human face. An elevated suspended coach mass rapid transit system designed to easily follow existing road alignments. The Sky Bus Metro, invented and patented by an engineer, Mr. B. Rajaram, the managing director of the Konkan Railway Corporation Limited. This is a patented mass rapid transit system capable of handling demand of between 20,000 and 80,000 peak hour peak direction trips. The Skybus Metro is a suspended coach transportation system. The coaches are suspended from a beam fitted to a conventional bogey with wheel sets moving on rails. The tracks are enclosed in an elevated concrete box supported by vertical pillars. The system is being developed at Margao Goa. The center of excellence here has a 1.6 kilometer long elevated test track. This has various design elements to demonstrate the dynamic behavior of the sky bus and its various components. A maximum speed of 100 km per hour is possible on this track. Here you find the uh, center of excellence coming up for the sky bus technology which is going to be the uh, transportation solution for the new millennium. For last 150 years, uh, we have known about the rail guided transport and it has revolutionized the speeds as well as the throughputs because of use of a coned wheel with a single flange guided on the rail. Now this technology has almost uh, remained stagnant in the last 100 years excepting for controlling of the effective conicity and slowly increasing the speeds, potential speeds, almost reaching 450 kilometers today per hour. However, for urban transportation, uh, the full capability of a rail guided system has not been exploited. Skybus Metro is actually a, a method of uh, exploiting the full potential of Coned wheel, single flange, giving a full speed potential and at the same time being very flexible in an urban area. The sky bus involves a re-engineering of time-tested conventional technologies. The sky bus runs on a conventional rail-guided bogey, commonly used for normal rail systems. It uses three-phase AC asynchronous motor technology or conventional electrical motive units. This is widely adopted abroad and in India. Lightweight coaches travel below rail guides. The physics of this is easily engineered. The shells of coaches and suspension links use conventional proven designs. The elevated track structure uses the latest prefabricated construction technologies. This saves time and money and will not disturb the existing pattern of traffic during execution. The Sky Pass will use information technology tools for control and communication. 
Operations will therefore benefit from precision and flexibility. Manpower requirements are also kept low. The system consists of four main components. First, we have the Sky Coaches. These coaches are controlled from a remote location and do not require the presence of any technical staff on board. Each bus coach is 9.25 meters long and 3.2 meters wide. And a Sky Bus unit comprises two such bus coaches with a total length of 18.5 meters. You see the Sky Bus unit uh, consists of two coaches uh, connected by a uh, vestibule connecting door, each carrying 150 persons. So when a Sky Bus unit moves, it carries about 300 persons. The fact that uh, such a sophisticated coach could be designed and constructed, manufactured within uh, 90 days is a tribute to the uh, our Indian engineers and workers, particularly at Bharat Ethnoverse Limited. Coach design options include the use of composite materials. This coach was manufactured in Goa. It is based on a design by IIT Mumbai and took about 30 days to manufacture. The coach has large windows made of unbreakable polycarbonate sheets, providing about 80% visibility. See, this uh, Skybus coach which you are seeing is made of composite materials with uh, steel frames uh, embedded inside and it is the uh, perhaps the largest composite material based dynamic structure uh, created till date. Another important point in a sky bus system is unlike in a railway system where you are handling a full uh, length trains where buffing loads of almost 200 tons are occurring on the coaches because it is traveling in a train formation that load also is avoided here because we are actually running only one single under frame with the two driving bogies. So there is no buffing force at any stage and they move as uh, packets carrying almost 300 persons in a length of 20 meters. This type of density has become possible in Skybus Metro because we have been able to optimize the design loads therefore the uh, dead load has reduced hence the live load that is the passenger load uh, can be very well uh, be taken care of in Skybus Metro system. The coaches are suspended from two bogies running on a track in a concrete box above. The bogies use conventional rail guided technology with steel wheels on steel tracks. The test track can accommodate both standard and broad gauges. The bogie is secured to a suspender beam by a connecting steel load transfer beam and spring loaded bolsters. These dampen jerks and other movements from the rails to the bogie wheels. Electrical power is drawn from a third rail. The supply is 450 volts DC to 1500 volts DC. The Sky Bus runs on a conventional rail guided bogey. It uses three phase AC asynchronous motor technology or conventional electrical motive units. These three phase AC motors regenerate power when braking. This is redistributed within the same network saving 25 to 30 percent of the electrical energy required to run the system. Now Skybus, what we have done is we have taken the guidance system above and then we brought down the coach below by bringing the center of gravity down like this and suspending it we have achieved the flexibility of the system and by using the cone wheels only not double planched wheels we have been able to achieve very high speeds of 100 kmph too. Now there are two important engineering points in this. The one is of course advantage gained because of center of gravity being brought down below. Another is by holding the rail guidance system in a concrete box on the top, we have achieved another uh, important milestone of preventing derailments. The bogies are provided with derailment arresters. If the wheel rises by even a few millimeters off the track, the arresters get pressed against the concrete box and the bogey is forced back on the track. And thus we can prevent a derailment proneness uh, in the uh, sky bus system, which is a very important factor because our known 100 year old systems 
when a derailment takes place, we totally lose control and capsizing takes place, losing lives. Since derailments and capsizing are systematically prevented from happening, the forces generated by this no longer have to be planned for. As a result, the payloads on the sky bus are well defined. The design loads in sky bus are uh, very much under control. Now we can really design the coaches in a very economical manner for known forces of only people traveling inside and uh, the, the dynamic augment on the uh, fixed structure what you are seeing behind me are now very much limited and controlled and we know what are the forces to which we are going to design our structures. The elevated skyway constitutes the major part of the civil engineering work on the project. The 1.6 kilometer long test track structure was constructed and made operational in about six months. The concrete box housing the bogies and tracks forms part of the skyway. This structure is elevated to a height of 8 meters above the ground. The suspended coaches will have a clearance of 6 meters. The skyway is elevated by an array of central columns from the ground level. The columns support two box ways on either side. These permit the traverse of suspended coaches along their length, typically in opposite directions. The extended boxway is constructed by aligning and joining a number of prefabricated segments. These are then secured to the columns. The test track at Goa has two designs for these segments. One is the C-beam open rib design. This type of beam is often used on sections with sharp curves. At the test track, it also allows technicians to study bogey behavior and other dynamics of the system. The other design option is the close box. This would commonly be used for the most part of the skyway. It also insulates and dampens noise generated by rail wheel interaction. These segments are cast at the site. Another engineering point in the uh, design of the system is that since we are enclosing the entire track guidance system inside a concrete box, we are able to prevent uh, effects of any inclemental weather on the rail guidance system. It is free from any obstructions of snow or any man-made obstructions coming in the way uh, and uh, the sabotage uh, conditions also are very much eliminated when we consider Skybus metro systems. Each boxway is an extended continuous hollow box. It has a slot throughout its operative underwall. A pair of rails is fixed on either side of the slot on the operative inner surface of the underwall. This extends continuously throughout the boxway. The guide track can have a minimum radius of 100 meters and a gradient of up to 1 in 50. The terminal points of the test track will house the traverser units. Here coaches can be shifted from the up track to the down track. The skyway has great potential as a base for various structures. The socio-economic significance of this provides immense value addition to the project. A full-size prototype station has been built at the center of excellence at Goa. Here prospective clients can view the various civil engineering details of the structure and its interface with the rest of the Sky Bus Metro system. The stations have to service a single coach unit of about 20 meters length at a time. Consequently, they are very compact and their land requirements are low. 
The energy requirements are also low in terms of the air conditioning load. However, their passenger handling capacity is very high. They support a service frequency of a coach unit every 30 to 60 seconds. A distance of about one and a half kilometers will separate two stations. So it is uh, going to cause a paradigm shift uh, in the world uh, when we complete the Skybus Metro technology test tracks and then show to people that how much safer it is to use Skybus and how uh, economic it is ultimately adding value to the society when we adopt Skybus Metro technology.